I wanted to include this part because we weren't sure what to expect when we arrived. So you take the address that they give you and it'll take you right to the parking structure. You come in those double doors at the bottom and you come up the stairs. And then at the top of the stairs, you'll go through these doors. And after you go through these doors, you're in the Aspen Highlands Village area. You turn to the right and there is the Maroon Bells tickets, ticket office. Now we got there pretty early, I think about eight o'clock, but there was a little coffee shop over there opened up where you could get coffee and snacks. I think it was part of the hotel. It was not cheap, but at least it's something if you need a little snack. So then as soon as you come in, here's the check-in area. Lines and there are restrooms. You should bring your own water. They said there'd be no water at the trailhead. Um, I think there's some in here in the building that you can fill up your water bottle. I just saw someone ask about that. Yep, down the hall by the restrooms. Now they will give you a ticket and you need to hang on to this because you're going to need it to get back on the shuttle. You can either hold on to it or take a picture of it. So when you're ready to get in the queue, you go outside here. Standby early departure area so you can get in line early. And then afterwards they said, oh, for us, they told us we'll go in the orange line because when you check in, they'll tell you if you get in the orange line or the green line. So it's right down there. But it looks like this is the queue for, oh, standby. So if you don't have tickets, you can come and try and get a ticket, but it's not guaranteed. It's just like if somebody doesn't show up. Look at that gorgeous. Hillside. Cut into the top of the ridge. It is what is known as a hanging valley. A smaller glacier carved that area out before it met up with the larger glacier channel. So here we are. We just got here. And there they are. Let me zoom in. So beautiful. Look at these trees. I'm standing right in the dark. So here's where you get dropped off and also where you get back on. <laughs> they have walking poles. You can get one per person to borrow. And right at this little info station where the poles are, over here are the restrooms. It's the only restrooms out here, so <laughs> Make use of it before you get out on the trail. Some signs said the trail was 1.4 one way and others said it was 3.6 round trip. So we'll just round it up to four. When you first leave the area you take the same path regardless of where you're going to go well between the scenic loop trail which is to the left and then this one on the right is marine snowmass trail number 1975 to crater lake 1.4 that's on the right dogs are allowed here the dogs are not allowed on the scenic loop
under halfway up. And it's steeper now, as you can probably see. First part was a slight incline. Now it's more of a bigger incline. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. Congratulations. You. Your poor dress. <laughs> back and if I haven't said before this is October 1st 2023 and as you can see it's beautiful it's I think it's in the 50s maybe higher 50s but the wind is whipping through and we're getting occasional sprinkles so feels a little chilly, but then, then again, we're hiking in, so that warms you up. So here we go. Up this one. Keep on climbing. So I think we have about a quarter of the way to go. Not a quarter mile, but a quarter of the whole path. And so here's the extra rocky section. I mean, there's still spaces to step most of the time. Oh, here we go. Not so much right here. Okay. It's not that bad. On the way down, I'll be using my poles. <laughs> hey, but people, I'm in my 60s, so if I can do this, you can do this.
now. It's almost completely dry. Just the pond. <laughs> we had read that from like a few days ago, but I didn't expect it to be that small. <laughs> Again. So it's 1.13, and I think I'm on the right spot for the scenic loop trail. Scott's staying back with Julia, because dogs aren't allowed on this one. Dogs are allowed on the Maroon, the, um, what did I say, Crater Lake Trail. I think they're allowed on just about all of them, except for the scenic loop, which is kind of strange because this one is paved so far, but we'll see. This is where you come and park if you don't take the bus, if you come up by yourself. There you go. 
I never really did get to do the whole maroon scenic loop, but it brought me really close to the water. And as it turned out, I was pretty wiped out, so it was just as well. Mm -hmm. 